Hi everybody. I know I have said that I wasn't going to do it, but I had to. I couldn't help myself. The deals were just too good to pass up. And once these departments have done their resets, we're not going to have any anything else clearanced for quite a while. So Try not to make this video too long and I'll show you guys what's available right now. Um, long as the supply lasts, I can't say go to your Hobby Lobby and this will be there because, you know, people like me are buying it up. <laughs> okay, the last video I told you guys that we had these big tubs of acrylic paint that were clearance to $1.75. This is what I was talking about. This is a uh, fine touch, which is kind of Hobby Lobby's lower grade to basics kind of thing. And it's, it's a step above your regular craft paint. And we got rid of all of them. So $1.75, regular $6.99 for, how many ounces is this? see it on here. I'm going to say eight ounces. I'm sure it doesn't say. Probably about eight ounces. So I got, I got what was left. Um, I checked out a customer and she got so much of them and it kind of freaked me out and I thought, so I better go grab what's left before I have none and this is something that I use all the time and not not so much in, in you know well in everything but I do a lot of painting so I got seven of these on a dollar 75 each um I'll put them down like this so you guys can see the colors I got Got a light, light pink, a hot pink, a bright blue, a lavender, black, green, orange, and red. I've never used these colors. I don't know how how they work. But I'm going to try them out. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, I grabbed a bunch of these. Well, three of them. Um... A lot of these uh, Silly Winks foam sheets were clearance down to 25 cents a piece. And I like to use them as a craft mat to like to do some for, they're, they're soft. And you could also make your own stamps out of this. Now, I really like them as a craft mat. They're nice to do that with. Um, also, same spot they got these in the craft department. They had these right here. These are stamps. They're kid stamps. But they're great for mark making. And this was 50 cents. This whole thing. And it has the the lines on there to cut them out. It'd be good to just make stamps. Okay. This is really cool always seen these delusion paints on everybody's videos I never got them because they're they're just a little bit more expensive than your regular craft paints and I I just didn't feel like dealing with them but I got all the colors that were left And they were regular $4.99 for $1.50. And it was all the colors got deleted. So I don't know if Hobby Lobby is going to continue selling the illusions. Um, I'm not sure about that. I know that um, Hobby Lobby does a lot of things with their own brands. And like this, this is a Hobby Lobby brand. Fine touch. So, 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these paints, but I grabbed them. And I got five of those. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Stabilo Fine Liners. Okay, these were a pack of, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A pack of ten for $9.99. $1.50. So never tried these, but uh, for $2.50, not $1.00. $2.50. I grabbed these. These are uh, wax pastels, water soluble wax pastels. I always see people playing with these on YouTube videos. And it's like, what is that? So I can't wait to try these out. And these were regular $11.99 for $3. And the brand name, I guess this is the brand name, Karen, Karen Dosh, Karen Dosh, Karen, Karen Dosh, Karen Dosh. Ah, these. Uh, Faber, Castile. Lettering pens, pit artist pens. And I believe they have, I'm not sure. They have, uh, these are these were regular $14.99 for four of them. And they're $3.75. Kind of tips. Oh, they got brush tips. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Brush tips. I wasn't sure if they had brush tips or calligraphy tips. And I got two packs of those, I think. Yep, here's the other colors. They're made from with India ink. So per, that's permanent ink. Goes over anything, really. These are great for mixed media. Painting on top of acrylic paint. Beautiful colors. So I got a set of eight for let's see, three seventy five and three seventy five is yeah, six seven fifty. Think, yep. Yeah. I'm not good at math. Not bad. Nice pit pins, and then I got the black ones the other time. <clears throat> Neon oil pastels. I've never used oil pastels, but I had to have them. They're $1.75. I mean, come on, 12 And this is a Master's Touch, which is the Hobby Lobby brand. So I'm going to have to start finding YouTube channels specifically for those. What is this? This is watercolor brand crayons. I've been looking at those things, and, and it's like the jelly sticks, the gel sticks. They kind of uh, remind me of that. I wonder what the difference is between a watercolor crayon and gel sticks. And these are regular. They're from Sargent. Regular $9.99 for $2.50. So I'm going to open these a little bit. What else I got? What else I got? Oh, I got this thing. It's a squeegee spatula paint spreader thingy. $4.99, regular price, $1.25. And this was where the Dilution paints were in that section next to the Tim Holtz things. And in that section also, all the scribbles, um, stickles, stickles, not scribbles, stickles? I think it's stickles. Yeah, those are all clearanced out. Good tag. I love this. Can't wait to use that. It's so soft. Much better than a credit card. Hmm. What else I got? Oh, I got this thing, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it was regular $6.99 down to $1.75. And let me see I'll open this sucker up. It's some kind of sticky stamp. Stamp and stick glue pad. For powders, glitter, chalks, and metallic pigments. In other words, you stamp this and it stays sticky. So you can throw 
stuff added to stick, you know, like glitter and powders and stuff. I wonder if it's going to work with the, with my um, embossing powders. I'll have to try that out. It's got a funny looking color though. Hope it's not too old. And the last thing I picked up is this. It's an art book, I guess. It's a little journal. I couldn't resist it. It's so cute. It's got like, uh, oh, that is leather. It's got a leather cover. Kind of rough looking. And this, let me take this off. So I paid three dollars and fifty cents for this, and it's regular. No, I paid. Wait. Okay, it's regular thirteen ninety nine. I paid three dollars and fifty cents for it, and it's very like primitive looking, and and the, the paper on it is like handmade paper. It's just really nice. Really nice, and it's got fuzzy edges. I'm gonna have to do something special with this one. Definitely something special. And it has a little rope on it, and yeah, this is something, huh? And I don't, I'm not sure what you would call that. I would call it just a journal. Just says le leather journal with tie. Seven by five inches. Tan, made in India and that's it guys now what I want to do is while I have your attention is try these things out and see how how they work uh, let me see let me get some room here I'm gonna start with uh, this is regular watercolor paper this I'm not gonna try it out I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that baby away for for a special a special something something once I've, I figure out what I'm doing with with uh, yeah with these things because so I'm just starting out with that so I'm gonna put that away uh stamp and sticky glue all right let's try let's start with this one then yeah, it has like a discolored look on it you see I know I have some glitter somewhere I got this really fine glitter. It's kind of like uh, iridescent. And I need a stamp. Okay, I got this whirly thing. I think this is a letter. I'm not sure. I think it's a letter. Oh, but this is was one of the clearance stamps that I recently got in another haul. I don't know. Everybody knows what that is. I just liked it because it was swirly. All right, I'm gonna try this. Feel it. Feel it kind of sticky and it's shiny on here. that in there okay made like a little watermark I'll put on some glitter let's see what happens mm -hmm. yeah. hope I don't make a mess and this is going to go right back in here. Well, I better shake it off in the garbage. Oh, look at that. That's nice. I like that. Now, I did pick up some of the stamp on the side. Can you guys see that? I like that. That's a keeper. Oop. Oh, dang it. 
Get back in there. Now I'm going to have glitter all over the place. All right. Glitter, you're going back where you came from. All right. So, good deal. Good deal on this one. This, I don't want to mess it up now. Everybody knows what that is. Uh, I am interested to see these pit pens. This is watercolor pens, pen paper. Yellow. I love them. They're so pretty. Red. I've been wanting to get me some pit pens. And uh, it's not really a brush tip so much. Yeah, it is, but it's a very it's a stiff, a stiff brush tip. Because you get, let's see. It's like, because it's made for lettering. At least that's what it says on there. And that's my name. Love these. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to put these with the rest of my pins. Put them up. Now, wait a minute. Why does this say, say BBB on the top? Oh, this is a little bit different. Okay. Why is this different? No. B is for brush. Brush tip. Just, uh oh, duh. I just had them upside down. Never mind. <laughs> okay, illusion paints. Let's see, what's the big deal about these things? I'm very interested to see. And everybody like stick their fingers in here and stuff. What I don't like about this is this little container. It's not good to dip your brush directly into the paint container. Pretty color. Hmm. Well, here we go. Smells like paint, feels like paint, has a lot of pigment in it. Okay. I don't know if I'd call this a heavy bodied. Let's see, where is my melt paint at? Looking for my knife. Yeah, this is about the consistency of craft paint. That's what I thought. I'm glad I never spent a bunch of uh, money on this. It's pretty, I like it, and it's good quality craft paint. And it has, uh, I'm gonna say, it's, it's got more pigment in it than your regular craft paint. I have to try all these colors. Oh, somebody opened this one, this one, oh no. Woo. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker than craft paints. Maybe they're kind of close to what uh, folk art might be. And they have these strange, I know these have strange uh, color names, squeezed orange, vibrant turquoise, dirty martini, <laughs> I like a dirty martini, bubblegum pink, 
and lemon zest. What's, um, what's attractive about these paints though is the colors. They, they have very good colors. They, they don't have very many, but the colors they do have are very good. This uh, magenta, dark, hot pink looking thing looks nice. I like the color. Oh yeah, see it's it's a very that's a pretty that's a rich rich color. Oh, you guys can see that. I'm just just trying it out. I like that. All right, so that's my dilutions. Can't wait to really use those. And while I have paint, and while I have this stuff full of paints, oh look here, another tag. I'm gonna check these out. Um, okay, this one's open. Do they need to be shaken? No. They're thick. There we go. They're just a little bit thicker than the dilutions. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Big old jar like this, regular price, six ninety nine. Little bitty thing, four ninety nine. But I like the colors on the dilution. They they pick really good colors. Let me try this pink, and it's open too. See, I'm gonna compare this pink to the dilution pink. Oh, dag nab it. I poured out too much. See, it's not as vibrant. Of course, it's a different pink, but it's a little bit thicker. This is turning out cute. Let me try some orange. And I didn't get any white. One of the customers bought all the whites out. I think there were like four tubs of white. I was like, dang. It's definitely thicker. You can see it peaks. It has a little peak to it. It has a nice spread. And makes good texture. Yeah, these are gonna be just fine. Now I wish I had bought them the first day they went clearance and I would have gotten more colors. But I'm good. All right, so that's all the paints. And now I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna get another clean paper so this will dry. clean watercolor paper and I also got some book pages. I want to see the translucency of this. Okay, watercolor crayons. This is stuck close. Open up. I didn't want to, to get these. Oh, a nice little set. Not too many in here. And of course, it comes with a watercolor brush. Um, let me see. I'm gonna get a, 
get a little glass and try this out. That's a nice watercolor brush. Maybe a little bit on the cheap side. Get all the glue off of it. Okay, let's see. I, I see a lot of skin tones here. Oh, yeah. Terrible brush. Oh my goodness. In the garbage. Okay, let me try something better. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. I got a little fuzzes from that brush in the paper. Not as great as my watercolor pencils. But definitely a good way to add color. This is going to probably strictly into my mixed media. It's uh, not the best. This is going to be orange. I don't know what color this is. This is red. Okay, I'm putting it on the wet area here. I like I like how it feels on the wet paper. It's kind of slippery and let's see. I'm not impressed. I sure like the jelly sticks better. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, this. This was on my last video, the gel sticks. Yeah, this was uh, 375 for $13.99. Uh, 12 gel sticks. Exactly the same thing as gelatos. The only problem, the only thing is gelatos are more expensive, but they got better colors. This has got, it's got a good amount of colors, but not the, not all the pretty ones that gelatos do. But that's okay. All right, this is red. And this, this is, has to be orange. Oh, and that awful brush left a bunch of tiny little hairs. And yes. This is going to be fun to play with. Like I said, for just for mixed media, I wouldn't use this for anything serious. For any, anything I'm going to sell or plan to, to be, uh, I wouldn't use it as my main element in a painting. This is definitely fun. And this is blue or purple? I think this is, this is blue. And this is a different blue here. It has has a very like soft powdery look to the color. Well, the original price for these was six ninety nine. They're not bad, not for the price. Um, that brush was. Total garbage, 
and that's where it is. But other than that, I think it's great for kids. I'll play with them. I wouldn't buy them again. Not this brand, anyway. I'm sure they have a... Uh, there's a more expensive, better brand. Okay, let me pick these up. And put this back. Oh, and before I start, these wax pastels. I don't know what this is. Water soluble. Now, these look nice and bright. Now, these are wax and water soluble. So let's see. Oh, I already like the feel of this. This is creamy, very pigmented. Compared to a, a crayon, a Crayola crayon. Oh yeah. Let's see how it reacts to water. Oh yeah, this is it. This is what I've been seeing people use on some videos. You know, every time you want to, you watch a video, you want what they have. It's like I can't afford all that stuff. I like this. Definitely, definitely like it. And let's see, my favorite color here, magenta. Or no, this ain't magenta. It's like a dark red. Or maybe it is magenta. This looks like a dark red. And this is red. This is a very bright red. Oh, I like that. I do, and it, it spreads so much easier. I would definitely buy these again. All right. So that is these. And he's supposed to have a brush. Where's the brush that came with them? Well, if it's anything like the other brush, I don't need that. <laughs> okay, these are going back in here. These are good for school. They're made for kids, but you know what? They're, they're I think this is pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Then I have neon oil pastels. I paid $1.75 for these, originally $6.99. Let's see, I'll squeeze these out. I like these colors, I really do. And this is gonna be strictly mixed media because I, I just, no use for oil products. One thing is they have, they don't have that many colors. It's, too green, too yellow, too red orange, too hot pinks, too orange, and too pinks. So it's two of each. I like. I like it. Goes over the watercolor. Oh, I bet this would make a good resist. Yeah, that's a high pink. Then we have this orange. And they are very much neon colors. Uh, so dark pink, what's the difference? This is a high pink, this is the dark pink. Be able, these should be blendable, of course my fingers are dirty. Blendable with a solvent type. Um, maybe alcohol. It's not going to blend with water. Nope. Maybe alcohol. Let me see. I got some alcohol right here. But the only solvent type that I have. Nope. Well, a little bit, yeah. It pulls some of the color off of it. Maybe on a slick surface. So they're very good and permanent. They don't move with water. 
barely smeared a little bit with alcohol. Not bad. So these are good. I like these. A dollar seventy-five. I wouldn't buy any more of these just because I'm not into oils and it's like when you switch mediums like that, I mean really switch mediums, it gets expensive. All right, next, my Stabilo pens. See, fine liner for fine writing, drawing, sketching, ideal for working with rulers, stencils, 25 brilliant colors. And... I'm just gonna have to tear it up. Oh, come on. Wow, that's very, very fine tip. I don't know if you can see that, just a very fine tip. These are gonna be fun. Do the right over stuff. It's right over that. Right over the watercolor. I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. My cat's going nuts over there. Shh! Hush! Hush, little girl. I'm making a video. I like them. Very fine, very fine. All right. So how many, That's that was 10 for $2.50. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to try these tonight. So, I spent about $50 with all this. Yeah. I can't do this anymore. But that was fun. Yeah, got a lot of glitter everywhere. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Good night.